my name is Gary Shotton, and I'm here with you on this uh, teaching uh, website on inspiring better business, and I hope these are helpful to you. Uh, today we're going to talk about a kind of a funny word, maybe panhandling, and I got to describe what that is, and but uh, then also give the point of the lesson. You know, the point of the lesson first is that we've got to be careful how we try to help developing nations. Uh, this is not just a Christian effort, the Christians sending money overseas, but everyone, our government, uh, any, all the NGOs, everyone that's trying to help a nation actually change their culture, become more prosperous, become more people employed in that country, uh, stamp out uh, poverty, uh, provide few food. We've got to be careful not just to send money, and materials, and goods. We've got to send expertise. We've got to send encouragement. We've got to send the ability for people to stand on their own feet. That's what we're talking about. Now, the word panhandling. Well, in the United States, uh, you come to an intersection where there's a distinct uh, stop and maybe a, a long light with people parked for even uh, 10 seconds to 30 seconds. Sometimes you'll have an individual, a man or a woman, standing there with a sign that says, help, need help, uh, can't find job, uh, out of work, hungry, God bless you, and asking for money asking for someone to roll down the window and hand them uh, dollars or uh, coins or anything. And, and the same people are kind of consistently at the same corners a lot of the time. Now, that's a moral issue for you and each of us to decide if we should roll down our window. And I pretty was well decided not to do that because I know that there's help available for all these people. There's people that are uh, helping in the way of shelter. There's people that are helping in a way of helping them get back on their feet. And these people, by and large, have chosen not to accept that help. They want to just stand there and, in essence, beg. Well, we've got to be careful when we're helping in a nation that we don't create beggars, panhandlers with the people we're interacting with. There's some good books that are uh, along this line. There's one that says, when, caustic, uh, when Helping Hurts. It talks about, in essence, that we've got to be careful that when we think we're helping and we're working hard at maybe supplying and feeling sorry or are sorrowful for someone in a foreign land that doesn't have what we have, that we need to make sure we send them money, goods, containerfuls of things, uh, things that would just hand to them because we have it so good, they have it so bad. Well, we've got to ask ourselves, is this really accomplishing anything other than the person standing on the corner uh, at the intersection with a ha this handout that says, need food? We've got to be careful that we're not joining that. And the book, uh, When Helping Hurts, addresses that from all angles, just from a household, from, a, from, from how we do charity during Christmas time, uh, to someone that maybe is, is not as uh, prosperous as we are and can't buy uh, uh, the, the uh, gifts they would like for their family. We've got to be careful. If we go in with all these lavish gifts, we could be a total insult to the, to the breadwinner in that home that's trying to do their very best. Oh yeah, they appreciate the gifts, but how demoralizing to not be able to feed your family. And so there's another book that says caustic charity. Well, what's caustic? That's poison. How can charity be poisonous? Well, if we don't allow or encourage or expect those that we're helping to at some point in time fairly rapidly stand on their own feet. You see, I'm a, a person that believes that all mankind has dignity. They want dignity. They want to be in a good, positive way to be proud of what they're doing and how they're doing it. And I just haven't seen very many people that feel real proud at being at the begging line or be on the charity list. I couldn't find for, uh, provide for my family, so I needed to on a regular, ongoing basis. Please understand, if somebody needs help, we ought to help them. But the ongoing, on, uh, month after month, year after year, I will tell you what will happen if someone is on that charity list for multiple years. At the end of the time when the flow of charity stops, that individual will hate you. 
will hate our country if we as a country continue to do that. They will be, uh, uh, be absolutely hateful to us because we've now stopped that flow. Uh, we've actually created them to be dependent upon us, and consequently, they are really in a world of hurt when they didn't stand on their own feet there. Well, there, we also have a word called ownership. We want people to take ownership of their future. Ownership, in some cases, of owning a business, providing income for their family through the work of their hands and through the diligence of their mind and, and being, uh, getting an idea and applying it. That's what we're about in Inspiring Better Business. That's what these teachings are about. And we hope that you see that that's part of our plan. That is our, that is our plan. It isn't part of our plan. It is our plan to help people. Some people, I think, in the giving end, don't actually be, believe that the people in a foreign country are smart enough or have the capability of handling uh, the responsibility of taking care of themselves. You know, if we've, if we've kind of dumbed them down, meaning we've caused them to always be dependent upon us, yeah, they're probably handicapped a bit. But they are smart, my experiences, intelligent people. If they can, they can be trained, they're, they're willing to work in most cases, they're desiring to stand on their feet, they're wanting a little help here and there just to get started, I'm all for that. But it's the ongoing perpetual subsidies that we're, I'm, I'm speaking against. We need to work at solving unemployment around the nations. Well, how do we solve unemployment? You see, in the United States, we're currently right at 4.1% unemployment. That's great, especially when 2.5% will never want and get a job. So we're almost there. If we can get down be below four, that's almost uh, uh, ready, ready for the records there because it's been a while since we've been there. So it's no wonder people want to move to the United States to work because there's jobs here. But the answer is how can we create jobs in these countries where they, leave, they don't have to leave their culture and their families, where they can, they can be gainfully employed? That's our motive with these teachings. So I'm asking you to understand what we're doing a little bit with this lesson. I'm not asking for any money from you because, uh, again, our goal is to spend, send uh, uh, videos and teachings like this. We ask you to participate, if you would, by helping translate or transcribe these teachings. That's helpful. We've got set four or five languages that are not major languages that many of the people don't speak English. And so they have the same capabilities as, as you all and I have to, to uh, have a positive life. That's what we want. They can. I'm going on a trip soon to Africa. And that's my message. I'm going to look people in the eye and say, I can convinced that you can catch a, an idea, create a process, go step by step by step. And if you'll be diligent at that, you will end up by steps, incremental steps, one piece at a time, one step at a time, you'll find yourself uh, in a good place one year from now. You'll find yourself in a, a great place three or four years from now if they'll apply themselves. I believe they've got God's help in this. I believe God wants this. We're not preaching uh, on our, on our uh, trips as much as giving just God-based uh, teaching that could be applicable in any culture, any language, on, on any time period, a hundred years ago or, or next year. These are teachings that are consistent globally, a time-tested truth. Well, I hope you understand what we're talking about. I hope you'll be a part of this in any way you choose. Please share and spread this information. Uh, it's not meant just for overseas. We want to help anyone in, in, the, in, in the developing nations or the developed nations because there's people inside those nations that want to own and operate and be successful in that calling. Thank you very much.